Hey guys, so I've got a new project to show you. This one's based on the AT Tiny 85. Um, I did a little video, uh, the last video I did I think, uh, and it was how to program it. So you're going to need to go back and watch it if you don't know. Uh, what I'm making is an intervalometer, which is essentially an interval timer for a, a camera. So that camera there. Uh, it means it will take a picture at regular intervals. So it's useful for time lapse stuff, um, and it's also just useful if you wanted to leave a camera somewhere for a little while and just record what's going on. Not necessarily time lapse, it could just the, the distance between photos can be whatever you want it to be. Now, it's a really, really simple circuit, very, very simple. I'm using a transistor as a switch, uh, and I've got an LED on there as an indicator. There's a button so that you can select the, uh, the interval, so each press adds one second to the interval. The starting interval is one second. It's powered by uh, a little LiPo battery, and that's about it, I think. There isn't much to it. Now, this will last for about 10 hours. This is a 250 milliamp, uh, no, probably more than 10 hours, uh, 250 milliamp hour battery. Now, I I've clocked this in at uh, about 16 milliamps is what it'll take when the LED's flashing, but I've disabled that now, so it will flash six times. Uh, and then stop, just as an indicator of the, the interval. Uh, so actually it might last a lot longer than 10 hours, I don't know. But I've got a larger battery if needs be, so uh, you can just sort of replace it if you wanted to. The idea would be to have uh, a coin cell on here to make it smaller. Anyway, I'm going to show you the circuit for this, because it's very, very simple. Uh, and I'm going to put it on a PCB and we'll connect it up to the camera and see if it works. Right, so we've got the schematic for this here. I like to call it a schematic, but I realise that none of these shapes you'll recognise, so I'll have to <laughs> explain it. Uh, so this is our AT Tiny 85. Um, we've got a push button switch here. That's an LED, believe it or not. Um, we've got a 100 ohm resistor here. This is the transistor. I've put the flat side there so you know which way around it goes. Uh, we've got a 10k ohm resistor there, that's going to the signal from the AT Tiny 85. The 3.5mm jack, uh, and then you've got all the, the various lines there for, for ground and power. Now, all I'm doing is using this transistor as a switch, so that will be easy enough for you guys to understand. Um, I'm putting a, a signal here, and it draws, I don't know, 5 milliamps, I think, with that. It might even be a 1k resistor, I'm not sure. Uh, and then it just connects these two. That's roughly how it works. And what that does, it connects the shutter pin, or pin, the, the shutter part of the, the jack to the common slash ground part of the jack. And then that goes to the 2.5 millimeter plug. So you could do the same with focus if you wanted. So if you wanted to focus the camera, you connect those two, but I'm just connecting these two for a short period of time. I think I'm connecting them for 250 milliseconds uh, just to ensure that the camera has time to take the picture. So here it is, finished. I know it doesn't look like much, it's just a bit of PCB, but I've soldered it all up and it works perfectly. Uh, it's a nice little project to get started with, but really you need a Canon camera or one that's compatible with this kind of project, so where you just need to connect the two leads. Uh, and here it is in action, so thanks a lot for watching.